Nice. Namaste Guruji. Namaste ma, namaste ma. 
Blessings. Blessings. This is the sixth technique. What we are going to see is the sixth technique. See, everything is fine tuned to to take you deep within yourself. And who goes there? Who goes there inside? Is there anyone who goes there actually? No, no. Uh, the humanity has got deceived by the notion that the thoughts are thinkers. A, a solid physical body which, which throbs, the heart throbs, the blood circulates, the breath goes in and comes out. By all these physical actions, all the physical actions, everything is linked to the center called thinking. And we take it for granted that the thinker is our brain or our within the physical body, the mind thinks. Where is mind? Before asking where is mind, we should we should immediately ask what is mind? What is mind actually? What is mind? There is no mind. There is nothing called as mind. Mind is also a word uttered by the same mind through vocal cord, through speech. Mm. That's all. It's an obvious fact. See, a dog barks. What does it express through barking? Some feeling. Yeah. Maybe some other dog would have entered that street, noticing it at a distance. This box. And we also come to know there must be some stranger or some other animal or dog would have entered the street. What that feeling, what that bark shows, it is the way of its communication. It is the way of its communication. <clears throat> it has to express its feelings. And no other way. Dog barks. A cuckoo. Cuckoos. Parrot talks, chatters. But for man, we have given ideas or meanings to all the feelings and labeled them as my feeling. It's my fear about exam. It's my understanding about who am I. Thus far I have reached Thus far, where, where, wherein we reach in our mind. But for man, we have given ideas or meanings to all the feelings and labeled them as my feeling. It's my fear about exam. It's my understanding about who am I. Thus far I have reached. Thus far where, where, wherein we reach in our mind. Obviously we have lost the fact, forgotten the fact the whole cosmos, even the names of countries and everything are nothing but movement in our mind. Including our own physical body. Primarily that is taken to be as one cell. And that one cell as that physical body is 
emanating originating so many thoughts about the world and the thinker is always myself that is the body physical body and the mind is within my physical body i think these are my thoughts so one will have to be led inside the path of the process of leading him inside is to slow down on the way to look at anything and everything whatever that arises there is no other way whatever that arises shows that this this was hidden a while ago that arisen thought was hidden underneath a feeling underneath an experience no one watches this closely and because this has never been shown see there must be a clear way and purpose for doing this unless we slow down the clutter within ourselves if the traffic is halted or regulated slowed down to a to a major extent the observer is always colored veiled he is wearing different glasses different colors of glasses everything is influence of that thought that thinker the thinking this goes on and goes on and goes on our purpose is to see really am i the thinker am i in the sense within that i double quotes is it the physical body or is it the thought or is it the word thinker that is also to be thought about only by the thinker right everything should be only by the thinker thinker is name sake but is he real the utterance or the thinking about the word thinker though it is also a thought is it real and the feeling attached to that individual because in feeling an individual they are is together they are is together our boy also asked a what question how to control my anger anger and himself got identified together and he has taken it taken himself as the anger itself so this is the same way to see the truth Why do you? Why do you need to see the truth? Because within within mind, everything is always associated with seeing only. Even hearing is seeing. You we call it as mental eye only. We don't call it as mental ear, mind's ear, mind's taste, mind's touch, mind smelling. we call this kind of as minds view or minds seeing intellectual seeing everything is light associated with light why is it associated with light because we are nothing but the original light the unarisen light that exists during our deep sleep simple simple unarisen unleaving formless nameless now we will go with the next technique
சௌபாகியம் நாம் பெற்றிட செய்தோம் பெரும் பாகியம் This is the sixth technique in the series. We will continue to give as many te techniques as possible because the essential point is that one should turn within and stay within, slow down the process and look at who the thinker is, who the feeler is, who the experience is. The purpose of turning within the purpose of enlightenment is is there any being left to get enlightened or are we something else you understand this are we something else yes of course we are something else what is the something else are we the thing that exists without our physical body our mind our intellect our egocentric existence waking state along with the cosmos everything vanishes there we exist as the self supreme self the swarupa they call it in sanskrit swarupa in tamil also they call it as swarupa for that we have to very very cautiously and with perseverance with a lot of uh, it self involvement a thirst, a yearning, with that one has to, because we are not chasing some shadow. We are not chasing any shadow. This is the authentic being, the authentic thing behind. It is veiled by the thought. It is veiled by the feeling. It is veiled by the experience. That's why in Tamil, they use the this word for God. It is transcend the yin. Kada Puri. Always we have been showing the first slide was this slide. Where how really things exist. Things arise. Include a man who is waking up 
from the sleep state or a child is born a, a, a girl gets conceived as a single cell the very very first moment of conception is only a single cell that can't be detected it takes minimum 3 days so the cosmos never stays still is it that 72 hours time that gives life to some cell no even beyond that life only is even this is detectable if such a powerful gadget is invented and seen through even the moment of conception can be seen isn't it they they fix a slow camera when a lotus blooms when a flower when a jasmine flower small bud when it blooms they put a such a slow camera it runs it catches everything in front of it the camera eye one second divided by 1000 with such a rapidity they catch so when it blossoms it is shown in fast forward mode because our uh, we are condition our brain is condition our brain is condition to see only certain limits of speed 24 frames per second if they have to show the speed of a car if it is going in 40 kilometers they will have to show it in 24 frames per second if it goes in 300 kilometers per hour they will have to show it in the same 24 frames per second mm-hmm. that's all it will pass through it will disappear the car will disappear so here everything is the manifestation of time delay everything is a concept at the tiniest level everything is an information life is the the life which is going to manifest is held in information do you understand this for purnima whoever she goes to beget as her grandson granddaughter all are there available now, at this moment even you were past not only as purnima not only vaidehi of this birth not only prema of this birth the monisha of this birth this name is given to this form and this name and that form is conceptualized conditioned in our mind known as conditioned it just by sitting the conditioning is going on we don't say we don't repeat the word i am monisha i am purnima i am vaidehi i am prema we don't say anything but the condition is going on this is the grandest set cosmos is a grandest set of it's a registration authority which registers all these things cosmic mind it's a mind what has what has popped up which has come out into existence some cell amoeba cannot be seen with naked eye it has to be seen with micron microscope you can see an elephant mountain of trillion 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 cells and or or those cells is the life the real life is we have to find it we have to find out we will have to for that the very thing that hides or veils is our thinkerhood feelerhood experiencer hood that's why we have always been showing this picture this video slide here it says formless what is that formless the truth is formless or the real life is formless or the god is formless godliness is formless whatever the word you put word is not important but here the properties are given by the self realized the enlightened has given out these properties the truth is formless just like our deep sleep state all this describes our deep sleep state of existence where in deep sleep we we, we are almost like dead cops no one to realize this but the moment you wake up there is a gap in between the thoughts which are yet to arise and the person who has slept he has not left you away he has not left you is still there 
hangover is there not much of thoughts during those times and throughout waking state one can very very casually look at what's going on within oneself abundant opportunities even for a for a serious earnest earnest seeker every thought is a portal to enlightenment who attains enlightenment thoughts are incapable of attaining attaining enlightenment that fact has to be seen through see until this moment we deem ourselves to be or to be the thinkers within us i think i feel this is my experience this is the kind of thing whereas this is a cosmic mind this picture shows it is a cosmic mind in this the manifestation in a cyclical manner arises exists disappears until and unless a realized comes and shows you that you are being veiled you will have to know these facts look behind who the thinker is look behind who the feeler is look behind who the experiencer is then with his upadesha and i is a witness like i is set within you it doesn't have a form and these things don't exist separately at all the cosmic mind repetitively everlastingly always does all these activities formless limitless unleaving unerasing undisappearing unstuck non related unsupported separationless this word is very very important separationless it is not you as the thinker who is producing those thoughts your thoughts they cannot be called as your thoughts you cannot be called yourself as you the thinker then who are you so separationless still silent blissful self of the deep sleep state here we have been often showing these two one is the sixth sensed intellectual human being then the five sensed animal all these things all these uh, creations all these uh, life forms they arise out of the influence of the past influence of the past there is nothing new here all our thoughts are past all our identifications are past repeat performance replay rewind all these things this cosmos is an old cosmos this deludes this deludes you have a question yes yes um so when you say everything is from the past registrations yeah something happening today is that also from the past not something today whatever that is going to happen at uh, your time after 4 hours or your yes. tomorrow or your next week or after a millennia trillennia because time itself mm-hmm. is an illusion that mm-hmm. comes along with your thinker okay who else is the thinker how do you how what is thinking process thinking process is walking inwardly in our mind in time it's a movement mm. in time when you say yesterday when you say today when you say tomorrow all these are all hollow words with no meaning or structure or truth in them while you are fast asleep that is especially in the deep sleep state what what, what was that time what was that moment of existence inwardly within you there was no existence at all don't know can at the moment you say that i don't know because even that i didn't exist at that moment that's why you refer that yes. i through this uh, purnima sai this moment's purnima waking okay. state identified yes. identified with the body thinker she says now i didn't know mm-hmm. you, are, you you as it is you you have affixed it on the deep sleep state entity you wound unknowingly the deep sleep mm. state slept the body as yourself you identified with that body now and said that 
statement i didn't know i wasn't aware mm. right yes but the tr- truth in this particular statement itself reveals when you were not aware at that moment at that moment only was the question the question was about that moment yes. what was existence in your body at that moment yes. now this person is a neighbor purnima of waking state is even within the waking state every passing thought every passing thinker is a neighbor who doesn't know what is happening to the previous thought previous thinker in you isn't it right yes it's a fact no yes so in the afternoon you would have had a feeling where was that person now where is he gone around it so many thoughts were produced for mm-hmm. moments you were busy thinking those thoughts mm-hmm. where all have they gone this 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 uh, fake this moment this this is delusion yeah there is no truth in them but there is no truth in them should not be only my statement it should be a seen through by you realization by you isn't it yes yeah that's what we are going to see in this <clears throat> next technique okay these are as usual the five sheets that create ignorance in us whenever a thought is there you are veiled truth is veiled it is like the clouds veil the moon or the sun. the mist veils clarity all these are all they are, that's why they use the word sheet sheet means a cover five sorts of cover for every cell for every cell of manifest life form as well as inertia even a sand particle it also has mind because wherever molecule is wherever atom is according to our science there is the possibility of life electron neutron positron all these things are revolving within an atom there is a nucleus why should the nucleus gravitate why should the nucleus have strong nuclear forces and weak nuclear forces at the particle level why should forces exist beautifully this science has been found out by our realist sages they found out at the core and on the surface too or even in the veils of different layers in all the places at all times the supreme exists the only self exists that was that that is what we read earlier formless nameless unliving so this always goes with that this five shades and these five shades they again segregate themselves into three types of bodies one is the grossified names and forms are all perceived through the physical body though the eyes perceive ears hear actions are conducted by the karmendriyas all things merge in the mind as a thought one says i, I talk to him i didn't talk to him i will speak to him tomorrow give me some time everyone through thinking and speaking is crystallizing oneself as an entity that's why there is a constant march of the past behind every thought thought itself is a thinker thought itself is the thinking also the constant push by the past nothing can be present and future at all because past itself we label it as now this moment whereas no such thing as now even now is also a modified relabeled past now uh, ask me ma you want to ask some question no nothing guru ji i didn't have a okay. question okay here immediately beneath the gross physical form is the subtle subtle this is this is so gross we have taken for granted that there cannot exist beyond this beneath the skin our skin beneath our eyes beneath our ears beneath the outer layer of our physical existence but the mind is a cosmic mind signals are all pervasive in the cosmos in the space 
Eight hundred crore people. If all of them have mobile phones, eight hundred crore mobile signals are always there, where waiting to be received or to be called. This is at the deeper, subtler level. Here, which connects the three, the the pranic body, the life throbbing principle, the physical emanation of life, origination of life through a cell. This is the structured cell manifestation, the physical body. Fifth one. So four is the pranic body, life principle, the body of uh, principle of life. Then three is the mind, mental body, conglomerate of thoughts. Then comes the feelings, that is ego, that is uh, intellect, dualities of feelings. And here comes uh, the deep, is the the causation, the causal body. What is it? Unnamed, unformed, nameless, formless individual. Whereas he gains. He labels, he brands his feelings as certain thoughts, certain emotions, certain sentiments, certain conditionings, certain beliefs. So these are all the things which clutter at every moment in a human being's life. Then we we will see what we had seen in the last. <coughs> this is what we had seen last technique technique number five. When we bring back the witness, like authentic being, into our waking state life, through staying in just be twenty-four into seven, we attain all prosperities in our lives. Last week, technique was at a grosser level. Now I still zoomed it with the sixth technique. Okay, I am going on zooming in. Okay. No more. Uh, it will come to such a point. The witness itself will witness everything. Uh, this you, this one you read. Switch the technique. Twenty-four by seven, being a just be watcher within actually. Uh, sorry, um, within actually is that the inner seeing is not under the influence of any past experience, feeling, thought. This is what. is called as living in a watchless witness like in a gaze this will make one's intellect shine in excellence in his day to day life purification of intellect lays foundation for enlightenment enlightenment if you add en as an adjunct before prefix for any verb Here, en is added to lighten. There are two connotations for this particular word, enlighten. One is one is completely becoming so light, like the self itself, because self is formless. It is even thinner than space. Space is having density. It is thinner than space. It pervades space. They call it as. निराकार रूप विपुर्व्याप्य सर्वत्र सर्वेन्द्रियाण अहम निर्विकल्प अहम निर्विकल्प निराकार रूप विपुर्व्याप्य सर्वत्र सर्वेन्द्रियाण सदा मे समत्व न मुक्ति न बंध उंड They say it is exactly this much years old, this many years old, ninety years old. That means size is also measured. So, Vipur Vyapya Sarvatra Sarvendriyana. So, all the skills, talents are all filling the space. That is our true nature. So, when when one becomes so light, this is one. meaning 
all type of meal and light light means becoming light not heavy another is enlightening you are lighting it you are lighting the flame you are lighting the inner eye it was blind it was non existent in the sense it was blind now we are lighting it the realized in stills are initiates through his upadesham the inner light so 24 into 7 being just be being a just be watcher within actually is that the inner seeing is not under the influence of any experience feeling thought that's why we don't say at installments you do this practice just it's a casual kids very very casual when you and a child is alone you casually take care of the child you are not uh, riveted to a chair or you are not uh, tying the kid to some ropes and other things not to move this way that way and you are also are you fixing your eyes on the movement of the kid no everything is casual everything is actually like freedom but this physical freedom is not the real freedom at all the thought should not move the feeling should not make the thought arise in it Mm. we are always checking who the experience is through feeling and experiencing or uh, thinking so the inner seeing is not under the influence of any past experience because everything is past whatever that comes it has arisen out of past it is a dictum that's all everything is a past sun is a past this moment light whatever the amount of light that is shed in australia is past it has already been shed already been spent force on your space on your land here they haven't yet reached the sun's rays already in your place it has been a spent force what is this kind of variance there are no such things at all thoughts make all this variance they are they are not true unless we sail along look for the thinker who thinks these thoughts then only truth will suddenly reveal itself that's why it's given this is what is called as living in a watcherless witness like energies watcherless witness like energies this will make one's intellect shine in excellence in his day to day life because that is the only instrument through which a human being leads his life lives his life does all his day to day needs meets his need day to day needs isn't it our intellect that is the center of an individual no people humanity is called intelligentsia intellectuals but by this straying within in just be like a uh, watcherless inner gaze witness like in their gaze what happens it always constantly removes all the defilements conditionings belief systems everything has to go everything has to fall off that's why in his day to day uh, life one's intellect shines because he is immediately in the grasp of that particular situation it doesn't take much time to understand certain things going step by step the mother knows even before the child becomes hungry isn't it well before before he tries to make a sound for want of food something the child is satiated okay this is how if you stay in the origination point or in this 24 into 7 the cleansing takes place automatically and you are always in advance in performing your so called karmas also though they are all karmas only but even in that you shine purification of intercalation foundation for 
realization enlightenment moksha liberation also because it is simply all are by products there is nothing called as material living there is nothing called as spiritual life how you stay within yourself gently will you do now eyes closed simply just be a watcher with an inner gaze witness like inner gaze can you just sit and go ahead i will ask you to open the eyes then you can open. very very slowly and gently with the palms of your hand warm up your face underneath your palms keep the eyes closed for some more moment and then open the eyes within and then expose it to open light involve yourself in this self inquiry take interest want to ask any questions take any questions guruji i have a question yeah um so when when i'm trying to do uh, do 24 by 7 keeping mm. like a watchless um witness like gaze mm. um sometimes uh, i'm a little bit confused say for example i'm making a cup of coffee mm. in the morning without thinking about it too much mm. how, how do i imply the witness like gaze over there see you and the objective things are available you you in the sense always be as the physical body mm. uh, for the eyes perceptions for the whole uh, sensory organs perception our physical or body is experience things are available there shouldn't be anything going on within you okay okay see i have a cup uh, to touch i i have yes. i have the milk packet opened and seen through my eyes seen by my eyes mm. i pour i light the gas uh, connection mm. so mm. all these things are physical acts this mm. doesn't warrant any thought inside your body this is simple awareness okay. this is these people call it as superficial awareness you need not deploy any concentration any focus the same thing is witness like this yes. okay suppose if this is transported this kind of witness like that mm. is a phantom like being of your own self is doing all the things and it is uh, the phantom like being is observing this real hands real authentic eyes seeing the milk opening the milk cutting the milk cover pouring it lighting the gas watching the heat uh, getting uh, given so all these things are going on going on going on in this process the inner subtle body mind intellect nothing need to act here mm. in any manner the same thing when you do sitting self inquiry sitting in just mm. same thing now even you are you are forgotten the existence of your bo- whole body physical body you can very well involve yourself the, the watcher like witness like gaze so intensely so gently not with some seriousness or some motive so gently because any motive if you bring in to the watcher is from the past he will spoil it your observation itself will be corrupted in physical all your physical activities going from this room to that room going to the garden walking carrying the child simple 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 touch feel everything just be as they are no more attributing any thoughts to those sensations feelings explaining mm-hmm. commenting not any sort of thing moment in inside at all this is what is just being in uh, just like uh, this witness into uh, 24 hours 
very very only we practice you will become so uh, you, you will become very trained by practice and practice and practice with sincerity with mm-hmm. surrender surrender to the practice not for some goal or something like that because you are not going to get anything you are going to be the truth itself the truth alone has the capacity to show you both this inner the outer world and inner world okay mm. yeah this will happen be confident trust and uh, devote as many hours as you can in all sorts of activities safety is the foremost thing this is the harmless direct easy path immediate easy path yeah okay <laughs> yes. uh, with this william you want to ask any question my dear um no guruji uh, what um I, i mean i'm i was just like connecting myself to whatever you were saying mm. so if i'm actually doing uh, my work daily i'm not like you know uh, i do a lot of investigation so it is my work is usually on the computer so that time my mind is not thinking anything because i'm mm. constantly looking at what mm. i need like you mm. know to make my work easier so i'm constantly looking at the information that i want what i'm actually sourcing putting them in the document finalizing and sending so my mind does not think anything else other than the work that i mean mm. the work is also getting done without mm. any thinking oh but what yeah because it, it's a kind of like or pilot mode or like you know it's like how you are saying i'm able to relate that the body is doing what it actually needs to do um it it knows what it actually needs to do so i'm not thinking anything else sometimes what happens with me like how like tony myself like when i'm actually working like making a coffee or cooking or even like cleaning in the house like you know i don't think about the work that i'm actually doing how am i going to do that time my mind actually goes to some other thoughts like you know it's actually thinking something else rather than the work that i'm actually doing then i need to pull back myself like you know this is a this is a thought this is an unwanted thought like you know i've like you know gone away from myself i need to come back so that's what is happening with me yeah why see that you shouldn't do the moment you brand your own self into different uh, labels as this is unwanted segment here this needs to be done immediately not those thoughts this uh, these things need not be attended to all these things no these things be cautious don't label them like that go with them also you allow yourself to be dragged into that go to the farthest end how it takes but be consciously be with that once in for all it will be done with mm-hmm. this what will happen is you you allow because you don't suppress uh, by la- labeling it. this is not a practice towards an end suppressing certain things allowing certain things freely this should be practice and this shouldn't be even uh, can't for all these things uh, labeling nothing don't do anything at all if if something if if it is according to you it's your standards only according to you these thoughts are extraneous not necessary at this moment at this point in time like that some branding has set in you what you have to do is don't don't again label that process be with the process if it drags you go along the lane let it go how far it goes just be with it be be thinking in that don't worry a time will because your consciousness will not let loose yourself lost in it okay so yeah. suddenly awakening will dawn in sudden mm-hmm. or jerk like awakening will dawn in suddenly the whole bunch will fall off mm-hmm. that's why here there are no compulsions it should be like a, see how the, uh, uh, the skating people how they dance they do dancing no 
in the mm-hmm. on the skating floor so smoothly isn't it they jump to <laughs> they jump fall again dance making yeah. several movements in a balanced way like that without branding without commenting without explanations without valuing judging sort of sort of evaluations nothing nothing we be gentle with yourself because you are that part of life also if you once in for all take compassion be a look at it in a compassionate way it will not let you to see the remaining main thing okay go with it attend to it finish it once in for all. once it's gone gone for a lives of a time okay <laughs> okay thanks ah okay is fine we will we will meet next week right yes thank you sure. guruji thank, thank you thank you thank you blessings to all of you